After months of urging from Governor Henry McMaster, a bill to reform South Carolina's bond law is headed his way. Lawmakers agreed on a compromise today, advancing what has been a priority this year for leaders in the legislature and law enforcement. State House reporter Mary Green brings us up to date on the deal they've reached. Lawmakers say they had been negotiating this compromise for weeks and it earned approval in both chambers here at the State House on Wednesday to send the bill to the governor. It's all about keeping the public safe and that's what we want to do. Under the bill, people who commit a violent crime like murder or armed robbery or a felony involving a gun while out on bond for another felony gun or violent offense would automatically have that initial bond revoked. Then a new bond hearing would have to be held in circuit court and it would be harder for them to bond out if they keep reoffending. Lawmakers struck a compromise to add up to an additional five years in prison for people convicted of committing a violent crime while out on bond for a different violent crime. That would be considered a separate indictment, so the person would get a new trial and a new jury. We um, still adhere to what we um, believe is the, um, the, the law of the land in the greatest country in the history of the world, that when we have a person that they're presumed innocent. But we do have a problem when we have someone that is out on bond and they commit another crime and so we are attempting to address um, some of those issues. But some lawmakers argued this would be unfair and potentially unconstitutional to add on that time for someone who is not found guilty of that initial charge because without it they wouldn't have been out on bond in the first place. This bill does not punish a single person for saying that you did something wrong that you didn't do. This bill does not punish a single judge because they did not bond for somebody that should be on the street. The bill also includes new electronic monitoring requirements and a guarantee that people whose bond is revoked under this bill could get a trial within six months, giving judges some discretion to delay that. Most of this bill would go into effect immediately upon the governor's signature, but some portions would have delayed implementation to give groups like SLED and bail bondsmen time to create and enact new policies. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.